Activating and deactivating floating viewports. While we're working in paper space, we can activate a viewport and we can actually work through the hole in the paper and act and, and, and edit and, and work on our model below. I don't recommend this as a general rule. If you really want to work on your model, it's best just to go into model space and work on it. But every once in a while, you can do certain things in your model space through the hole, uh, uh, these viewports, these floating viewports. So the best way to do that is to come down on the status bar and come down here and click on the paper status and switch it to model status. AutoCAD will pick on one of the viewports that was last used and you can tell this viewport is activated because it has a bolder boundary and you know it appears darker. If I want to change viewports I just simply click in the other viewport that I'm interested in. Now I can reach through and do commands that I want to do. So let's say I want to move this particular uh, north arrow. I'll move it up and I'll say there we go. And then I'll, I'll do that again. I'll do another move command and I can work right through that viewport. Oop, and now let me place it here. Uh, let me put it down there. And so I can move things around and work through the viewport. If I don't want to be in the viewport anymore, I can come down and click on the model tab and go into paper space. So I click on model and now I'm in paper space. And I can also just double click on any viewport. And now I, I, once I activate the first one that brings me in the model space, I can move into any other viewport. But if I double click out into paper space, out in an area there is no viewport, it switches me to paper space. So double clicking on the first time will activate the model space, or double clicking in paper space will activate. And you're going to have to get used to going back and forth between the two. Um, it, also, when you're in model space, um, you'll see uh, you'll get things like your view cube and your navigation bar and, and things like that will come available to you. When you're in paper space, you do not have that. Um, I always like to have my floating viewports uh, a, a visible, meaning that they're thawed and turned on, and I like to have them non plottable because I like to be able to see these edges. If I end up freezing them, I can't really tell where they're at, and that makes it more difficult to work in. So activating and deactivating floating viewports is done by clicking on the status bar down here and clicking back to paper space or double clicking into model space uh, viewport or double cl clicking into paper space. And you can activate them and jump back and forth between the two spaces.